it's essential to get the best lifespan and efficiency out of your tankless water heater that you perform routine regular flushes to reduce mineral buildup inside the heat exchanger. Mineral buildup is caused by when water is heated up, the minerals in the water settle out and attach to the heating unit or to other components within the hot water heater. Without performing routine, regular flushes, not only will your heating element be less efficient, but it could eventually even clog the unit depending on the hardness of your water and the amount of minerals in the water. In this video, I'll show you how to flush your tankless water heater using the Calero Tankless Water Heater Descaler Kit available on Amazon. I'll include affiliate links in the description below if you'd like to pick one of these up for yourself, but the process that I'll outline here in the video will apply to any high quality tankless water heater descaler kit that you can find online or at your local hardware store. The Calero Tankless Water Heater Descaler Kit comes with everything you need to perform the routine maintenance of flushing your tankless water heater so that it performs more efficiently and has a longer lifespan. The kit comes sealed in a bucket which you'll use for the flushing process. It contains the flushing descaler solution as well as the circulation pump that you'll use for flushing the solution through the system and two braided metal hoses as well as the bucket itself which I mentioned earlier. This method assumes that you have isolation valves installed on your water heater so that you can separate the water going through the system from the water that goes to your house and comes from your water supply. Before you do any of that, you start by turning off power to the water heater. Next, you shut off the isolation valves so that the water you're flushing through the system only goes to the system itself and that there's no water coming from your water supply or going into your house. Next, you'll add a gallon of water to your bucket and then pour in the Flow-Aid solution. Stir the solution around until it's completely dissolved. Take your blue braided hose and connect that to the outlet of the pump. This is what will be feeding the descaling solution into the water heater. The other end of the blue braided hose, you'll connect to the uh, service port of the isolation valve on the blue side, on the input of your water heater. Then you can place your pump inside of the bucket. As the water's pumped up from the bucket, into the water heater, it'll run through the system and come back out of the hot water side. So you'll connect the red braided hose to the red service valve of the isolation port and that will just go back into the bucket to return the water back to the bucket. Now once that's all connected, you want to make sure you open the service valves. In my case, unlike the isolation valves, the service valves are not easily turnable by your hands and so I needed a wrench to do that or you could use a pair of pliers. Once both valves are open and all of your fittings are tight on your hoses and the pump is submerged in the solution, you can plug in your outlet and allow the flushing process to begin. You want to let this run for about 35 to 45 minutes according to the Calero instructions, but the Renai instructions said something similar with vinegar at a rate of 4 gallons per minute for about an hour. After 45 minutes you can see that the solution is much darker as it's washed out a lot of the crud out of the water heater. It's been 45 minutes so now it's time to unplug the pump and now we're going to rinse the unit out to get the cleaning solution completely out of the water heater. To do that, we're gonna close the service valve on the cold water inlet side and disconnect the blue threaded hose. Now I'm gonna remove the red threaded hose from the bucket. Be careful not to get this on my clothes. I'm gonna place this down in the drain pan. If you don't have a drain pan, you could do this using a bucket. You would just need to empty it periodically as you're flushing water out. So now I'm gonna open the isolation valve on the blue side, on the inlet side, and that's gonna flush clean water through the water heater 
and out of the red threaded hose down into the drain. The instructions say you should do this for five minutes. Now that it's been five minutes, I'm gonna shut off that isolation valve. And then I'm gonna also take my wrench and shut off this service valve on the hot water side. From there, I can disconnect my red threaded hose. Open back up the outlet isolation valve and open up the inlet isolation valve. Now the system can be plugged back in and restored to full operation. Now that everything's been put back into service, I can rinse these hoses, rinse the pump out, allow them to dry, and then store them for the next time I need to do maintenance. And then all I'll need to buy is the actual cleaning solution, or you can use vinegar as the Renai uh, service manual recommends. And as a nice little bonus feature, Claro includes an appliance service log where you can record the date and the maintenance performed on your water heater. And that's how you do the routine maintenance of flushing your tankless water heater with the Claro Descaling Kit available on Amazon with the affiliate links in the description below. If you've enjoyed this content and found it helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.